Just before we dive into the video, I want to let you guys know we have an awesome giveaway running right now with the guys over at Gamer Chic for everything you see on screen. If you want to get involved, be sure to click that link in the description box down below. And if you want to save some money on buying Iceborne in the UK, then you can go over to their website and use the code ARIXGAMING, which makes it one of the cheapest places to buy right now. Hey what's going on guys, Arix here, welcome back to another Borderlands 3 video and today I want to show you where to get another incredibly awesome weapon or technically speaking it's a grenade mod but it's still a weapon, it does a lot of damage and this is a very awesome grenade and I appreciate right now everyone's going to be like you must be talking about the pipe bomb, the pipe bomb is also insane and that is probably a video for another time but this one I want to talk about the Stormfront because the Stormfront, I've mentioned this before in a previous build, in fact 269 used it in his Mose explosive build, the Stormfront is an incredible grenade. It's a TDR grenade, it has shock damage on it, and of course that means it's great for ripping through shields, but the way that it behaves is what makes it so great. You throw it down, and you'd be forgiven for almost overlooking this grenade if you just test it out after first picking it up, because when you throw it, it just kind of falls on the ground and nothing appears to happen. However, if enemies are nearby, it chains lightning towards them, and this lightning continues to rotate, so if you throw this into the middle of a crowd, you just see chains of lightning all over the place. It is not only a sight to behold, but it's also a fantastic way to rip through shields. So anytime you get into shielded enemies, throw this into a crowd, throw a few of them into the crowd, and you just see chains of lightning everywhere, their shields are gone, and then of course you can swap to a weapon that you want that can just rip through health, burn through enemies, and of course it is just a great CC weapon. Plus, of course, having the shock effect is also just a good way of CCing enemies. Some of them get caught in that sort of shock status, they start screaming, they don't really do much, so it's kind of a good thing in that respect as well. So, all up, it is definitely a very good weapon, and thankfully, you can farm this. Again, much like any other weapon, this is going to be heavily RNG dependent. It can, of course, probably drop from other places, but we farmed this the other day because we got this quite early on in our playthrough and then we wanted to get like level 50 versions and we farmed this from Traunt. So for those of you guys that want to do this, what you want to do is you want to go and head over to Athenas. There is a, basically only one fast travel station, so you basically need to go fast travel to the very beginning. It is quite a trek. You basically have to run through the entire level and get to the very end where you fight Traunt and you can then go and drop into the boss battle. Now again, if you guys didn't catch our video yesterday on conference call, for those of you guys that want to farm bosses, just before you go into a boss battle, there is normally, or there is always, a save point or a checkpoint that you'll see just outside, and basically this means that you can go in, you can kill the boss, as soon as you've killed the boss, grab your loot of course, and then once you've done that, you can then quit to the main menu, you load back in, and it will load you back into just before the boss. This is how you farm your bosses, so all you need to do is go in, fight Traunt, kill him, rinse and repeat, until eventually you get the Stormfront to drop. Now, we were farming this as a team, and we got about five or six of these to drop so far, so we basically had enough to effectively give our entire team Stormfronts, so we're now running with four of these. It's fantastic, I love it, and this is definitely a grenade you need to check out. I appreciate you guys might kind of overshadow it if you've got the pipe bomb, but trust me, this is not a grenade you want to sleep on. It's definitely a really good weapon to have in your arsenal, and I'd probably put it as one of the best weapons or one of the best grenade mods that I've encountered in the game so far. So, that's all you need to know. That is what you need to do to farm the Stormfront. Definitely try and get it. Definitely check it out. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and also click on the little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss my next upload. Also, don't forget, you can check out 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch six days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. Be sure to drop by and get involved. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.